Hi there, this is Jacqueline with Nickel and Dime Decor. Thank you for being with me. And this is going to be, I think you're really going to enjoy this because it's simple, uh, cute, and um, it's just a good thing to have. It's called a Jelly Roll Jam Quilt. Um, for those of you that are quilters and you're beginning to sew, you know what a jelly roll is. And uh, this is 36 and a half by 36 and a half. I think it'd make a darling baby quilt. But you know also what it would be real cute on? If you have a little small table, put this on your table and make it for the spring and just have your room pop with that and the little floral arrangement or, or whatever you want to do. Just make it a focal point in your, if you have a room that's like a patio room or a sunroom, oh, be so cute. So for beginning sewers, which my channel in blog of four, is to give you something that you can do that's not frustrating and not hard. And um, you'll be very proud of it. And very economical. We use on my, myself, I use what I have. And I'm famous for going to estate sales, especially women that I know beforehand that have had that were seamstresses or quilters or, and uh, oh, I've just gotten some beautiful fabrics that way. You don't have to be rich and go buy your fabric. This takes 18 jelly roll strips, a half of a jelly roll. You could make two of these out of one. This comes from the Fat Quarter Shop, but it goes back to 2013. I don't know that it's still available on their side or not, but if you want the printed pattern, that's where you'll get it. www.fatquartershop.com I will try to make it as clear as mud and you won't need the pattern. It's one two pages and that's it. Very, very simple. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down and show you um, what I've picked out. These are my, uh, well, you can only see two sets of them. I have six strips in three settings. You're going to take these th six strips. You're going to sew them right sides together. Sew them, all six of them. You're going to press the seams straight down on all of them. And I picked... Uh, because on this picture, it looks like the white, uh, you know, just kind of stands out. And the placement of them is they have it on the second row, third row, and third row. So what I've done in mine is picked out my little lightest color, which is my polka dots. This is a yellow. And uh, this one is uh, red, and this one is blue. And I'm going to use them instead of the uh, white strips. And I'm going to place them. It shows that they want you to place it on the second row, the third row, and the third row. So when, once I get them placed and get them sewn, I'm just going to sew one together and come back and show you how it looks. And then I pressed it down. And then 
um, we're going to subcut. And all you do is your measurement should be, if you have a good quarter inch seam, by sewing these six together, it's going to be 12 and a half inches long. If it's not, take it apart and redo it. If it's not big enough, then uh, sew smaller seams or vice versa. But you have to get it to 12 and a half. That's your goal. Okay? Then you're going to subcut them into six and a half inches wide. And you are going to be able out of each set to get six. These are jelly roll strips are approximately 42 inches. So you'll get six sets of them with about that much to spare. So the next very first thing that we're going to do is trim our selvages off. Sew our sets together and get six of them sewn together. Press them down, and then we will come back and we will subcut. This series, this little lap, uh, not a lap quilt, well, it could be a lap quilt, but this little, ta I call it a table quilt. I think it'd just be precious on a table. But, uh, you know, I have my quilt on my dining room table. So they're not just for the walls or on a quilt rack. So we'll come back in just a minute after I have gotten uh, one set sewn and pressed, and um, then we'll subcut it. And it also says after you've uh, got your sets to put them in your three stacks. Just this stack will be separate, this stack will be separate, and this stack will be separate. And you can, we can um, label them. This is gonna be stack one, stack two, and stack three. All right, be right back. Here is my first six jelly roll strips. My first, we'll call them set number one. And <clears throat> all of my Seams are pressed to this way, down. And now we have to uh, even up our side piece here. And, well, I wanted to do it for you could see, so. Get, when you do this, get your bottom piece even with one of your lines on your board, okay? So you know that's even, and you know this is even, okay? And then, just uh, that line won't work. So I think we'll go a half inch over that line. And that's cutting off quite a bit, but let's see if this would work. Right there should be. Okay, now you can either do it with this because this is six and a half. So, we're going to end up, yes, six and a half. So, that's the easiest thing I know is just to use your 24 inch ruler and be sure and have it on there nice and straight. And cut it down. So there 
there's one of our sets right there. Let you roll them down and do that again. And we'll see if we have six sets like we wanted. That's what we were aiming for was six sets. a little bit of a glare here with the window in. And we made it. There's number six right here. And that's how much is left over using all of the whole width of the jelly roll. That's all that we've got left, which is good. I don't like to waste fabric. Some patterns really do, really do waste. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. There we have our six pieces. Now what you want to do is like I said, label this and put top up here on each and every one of them. Put top on the first row. And we shall proceed and sew our next batch of six together and subcut them. And we're moving on with the Jelly Roll Jam Quilt. Okay, guys, here is the three sets of six each. And I have top number one, number two, and number three. There are six of them, and they're each labeled top at the top. Now, our next video, part two of this, we will put these together, put our blocks together, and sew them and have the top made, and then we'll put uh, pick out a backing, put our binding on, and we're going to be done with this darling table quilt. Uh, if and if you want it as a baby quilt, it's going to be just as cute. So that's it for now. Until part two. Thank you. God bless.